Hi everyone, I'm here today to review The Beauty Volume 2 by Jeremy Horn. If you've been watching my spate of reviews that have been going up recently, you will notice that this is the sequel to the last review I did. And I wish I could say that I loved this one as much as the first volume, but I'll get into that. So, so this is Volume 2, so I might end up spoiling something from Volume 1. So if you haven't read or watched the video of Volume 1, you might want to go and do that first. I will leave the review linked in the cards and also the description. And meanwhile, yeah, go and give it a read and then come back and you can share my agony with me on this one. I probably won't end up spoiling an awful lot in retrospect because this didn't really have many links with the first volume, which disappointed the heck out of me. I loved the first volume and so Starting this second volume, I was like, oh, yes. And then it just didn't follow the same characters at all and just didn't have the same fun vibe. It just lacked interest. It didn't really help answer any questions and it was just annoying. You're meant to kind of further export a dark and demented world tainted by the beauty where we meet a host of new characters as well as our favourites. But that's not what it felt like to me. It just felt like Eh, we're going to carry this on some more, but we're going to drag it out like heck. So we're going to go and meet some other characters this time and not answer any questions for you and just make things even more complicated. That's how this left me feeling. I genuinely don't feel like this anymore is about a kind of disease so much as just a crime series. It followed crime to such an insane level and just didn't really tick the disease box for me <laughs> which is what I originally got into this for. It just lacked any real flow as well and I'd get if this was going to be all sort of some sort of long-term interwoven thing that would end up making sense which it still could but it just felt like it separated itself too far away from the original idea of the beauty and it just wasn't really represented or covered in any way that could actually help push a story along for me. It didn't feel like we were in some sort of flashback. It just felt like we were kind of just going about everyday world while this was going on and just seeing stuff from a different perspective in a boring way. It was really quite dull. So I gave this version three stars. Like the uh, first volume, I did read this through Kindle Unlimited. And I'm now in a quandary about volume three. I don't know whether I'd wait to try and get it on Kindle Unlimited or through some other service, or whether I just wouldn't continue the series because if we can get back on track from volume one, then I'd be really up for this. But if we can't, then I'm not sure that I really care to carry on with the series. So I think I need to look into what volume three is gonna be about and look at the reviews and take it from there is my thinking. Overall, volume two is just a massive disappointment. As I said in yesterday's video, volume one, probably one of my favorite graphic novels, definitely overtook the likes of the first volume of Paper Girls and Saga. It was way up and then this one I was just there going mm, I don't care I need to know about the beauty I want answers it just it didn't tick the boxes I needed it to tick uh yeah maybe you'll see me review volume three one day who knows but thank you so much for watching this review if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe by clicking the image of me if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me and I will see you soon Bye bye